Hi, this is Steve Swanson. Welcome to Immunogenicity 101. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, introducing the concept of immunogenicity of therapeutic proteins. So the objectives of this session would be to introduce why therapeutic proteins can be immunogenic, talk about some of the factors that would cause them to become immunogenic, to describe how the immune system responds to a therapeutic protein, in other words, how we actually start and induce an immune response, and also to discuss how an immune response against a therapeutic protein can best be monitored. The immune system is actually a collection of biological processes within an organism that will protect against disease by identifying and killing pathogens and tumor cells. It detects a wide variety of agents from viruses to parasitic worms, needs to distinguish them from the organism's own healthy cells and tissues in order to function properly. So that's the context of the immune system. And then what we're going to talk about is how therapeutic proteins interact with the immune system because, of course, a therapeutic protein could be viewed as foreign by the immune system. And then the immune system would respond in exactly the same way it would against any other foreign entity.